Well, Angel, thanks for joining me. Um, this is another edition of Grubbing with G. Uh, it's a, a thing that we've started and seems to work well. Um, and this is our third one. We've done one with Mason Smith, the football player, Trey Morgan, the baseball player, yourself now. So we're very excited about that. We are at Phil's Oyster yeah. Bar here on Perkins, and that's an old-time iconic establishment here in Baton Rouge. I didn't know if you knew that, no, how much history Phil's has and uh, what Anthony and his entire crew and family have meant to this community and to LSU is great. So this is your favorite restaurant. Yeah, it is. It's so good. And, and so we've decided to come here and uh, have another edition of Grubbin' with Yee. And um, we're going to order some food. We're going to laugh. We're going to talk. And hopefully that the, the, the people of Louisiana get to know you better because you're not born and raised here. No. <laughs> no. So uh, tell everybody where were you born? I'm born from, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Right. And that's where I grew up. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that's kind of where your family and everybody is. You, All my family. Yeah. My brother, my brother plays at Maryland. Plays at Maryland. Yes. So and you mom, played two years at Maryland. Yep. I transferred here. It's my first year here. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so deep ties to the, to the Maryland program. Yeah. So, and you, ha you were successful at Maryland. Yeah, it's not yeah, like I you was. weren't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you averaged, what, 17 points, yeah. 10 rebounds? Yeah. And your second year, you played two years there. And then yeah. you decide, transfer portal time, yeah. I'm, I'm going to LSU. What, what brought that about? Um, I just wanted something new. I mean, I had everything at home, but I just wanted something new, a new look. Right. Have bigger goals for myself. And a national championship is, of course, the top goal. And right. coming here and coach. Kim, her second year being here, it's her second year, and then see everything she did first year was amazing to me, and I, I love that about her. She's a coach that is not like any other coach. No, she, she's she something, She has a lot huh? of energy, and um, she gets on me a lot, and that's something I really needed. Yeah. So I love her. Yeah. yeah. Besides LSU, who was it down to? Um, South Carolina, Tennessee, and then LSU. Yeah, so all the bad programs, what you're saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted you. You were just having to choose from these second rate no, programs. No, she wasn't even in my. Really? I wasn't thinking about LSU. My friend Kateri, that's on the team now. Uh -huh. Me and her have been friends since like we were fourteen, and she convinced me to like take a visit. And this is the only visit I had. I had other visits scheduled. Right. Once I took this visit, it was it was over. So you came down here. You met Coach Mulkey, yep. Kim, at that time. Yeah. Um, tell me your your thoughts about Coach Mulkey. What you thought about her before you met her? What was your impression of what you knew about her? I mean, you hear things about coaches that you that may not be good, but I like to keep things to myself. I don't want to listen to anyone right. else. So I saw and got her who, who, who she was. I mean, so I, you had heard some negative about. Yeah. Her. Like, give me yeah. an example. What? What? She what? was like mean to players sometimes, right. or like really hard on players. And I mean, everybody likes to be coached different. I like to be coached hard. So yeah. maybe some players can't take that, but I, I love. Yeah, her. I'm I'm getting the feeling she coaches hard. She does. It's, oh it's, yeah. It's intense. She, I don't think she's she gonna apologize for that. She does. No, but she loves to win. Like oh. she's a really winning. She's a winning yeah. coach. Like she loves. She to win. she really is. You can see it and feel it, can't yes, you? Yes, her intensity. All right. So I, I could see other coaches kind of using that against her. You don't want to go play for her. She's yeah. not. She's mean. She's she's unfair and that yeah. type of stuff. I yeah. could see that. Yeah. Yeah, but that didn't bother no. you. No. Yeah. No. Um, so you had, a, you had a good visit that weekend, yeah, I guess, when you visit. came. Yeah, about, it was in April, end of April right. I visited. So uh, what do you think about the, the food down here in, uh, in Louisiana and Baton Rouge? Come now, here, we've got a waiter here to order some food. So what do you think about the food in general over the here? The food is good. Okay, let me just say, though, in Maryland, we have the best crab. You have crab cakes. Yeah, we have you crab cakes great and Maryland like blue crab. crab. And blue crabs, so we right. season things different. We yeah, have obey. We use obey and like. Oh yeah, obey steam, steam season. We yeah, steam, steam our crabs. Right. Oh, you guys like boil them? We boil or fry. Yeah, yeah. we don't do that. So yeah, that's we different. Steam. Yeah, okay. but the seafood here is good though. I like it. Yeah. yeah so good win last night. You yeah. had another close game down to the wire, <laughs> just a nail biter, and and as a result of that hard fought victory, y'all get a couple of days off. Yeah. Is that normal to get days off like that? One. We usually get one day. Yeah, so she's giving you two. Yeah, many people don't know, but tomorrow we're going to go um, visit Angolia Prison. Yeah. And we're going to go see the inmates there, and I think that's going to be a really fun experience. That's good, yeah. 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 
that's mm -hmm. something that we're going to keep in mind. No, that's good. I think uh, that's good to show that y'all are part of the community, right? Yeah, Just yeah. not playing. Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. I've been yeah. to one in Baltimore. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So back to the food. You, we're talking about food, and you have the the crabs <laughs> up in Maryland, which are really really good. Yeah. Anybody's been there? You know, yeah. Crab cakes and. The, the blue crabs up there are great. We have great crabs down here. Tell me, the, uh, what's your favorite food so far coming from the north, as we would call it? Uh, coming down here to the south, uh, something you've really liked? Gumbo. You like gumbo? I love some sweet Good. gumbo. Yeah. Good. All right, is there something you don't like? I don't know how y'all eat that. I don't know. There's nothing I, I won't try. It's like nothing I won't try. Like a fried mind. alligator, you try that? Yeah, okay. I try that. All right. Yeah. Have you, do you like crawfish, the bull crawfish? Yeah, I don't really know how to eat it though, but I, right. I've had had it. I've had it. Yeah, it's it's really good. I can I can show you that. My dad taught me when I was young. Really? So we used to have, I don't know how you guys can pick you it. You do like, it and you and you and you. I, I don't pick it. I just do it and take it to the mouth and pull it out. Yeah, but it's like a little bit of meat. So you have to do all this work for like a. No, little no, no. Bit. I'll show you one okay. day. We'll right. maybe do a crawfish bowl with yeah. the team or something and yeah. and uh, do that. And it's a lot of fun. We can have a little a little eating competition to see who okay. can eat them the fastest, but. All right, so nothing that's down here that's really just surprised you food-wise. I can't eat that. That doesn't taste no, good. No, I'm really nice. Overall, yeah. like like the food. What about um, the people and the culture oh of God, Louisiana? Oh, my so nice. Like, I feel like I'm at home. Like, right. Baton Rouge is like an area like Baltimore. So people right. are like, it's like a, a more of a city area, and I really like that um, about this area, being able to talk to people. Every time I walk down the street, it seems like they pay attention to LSU, and the women's basketball at that is something that, you go to different states and different colleges, they don't really pay attention to women's yeah. basketball. And for them to know who I am, that I'm right. from here is like no, amazing. Yeah. As I was saying, you're you're a star. Yeah. I mean, you're, uh, <laughs> Thank you. you stand out in so many ways. Obviously, on the play, on the court, your play stands out, right? Yeah. I mean, like you're averaging, what, 24 and 15, basically 15 and a half rebounds. So yeah. anybody who's averaging 24 points, 15 rebounds gets it noticed. And then you've got your look. Right, you got the the flowing hair, and you're 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 a beautiful yeah. lady on the court, and yeah. um, that gets noticed. Yeah. And then, like your coach, you, you tend to play with a little bit of fire and a little bit of emotion. Where where does that come from? Um, from kind of growing up, I played against my brother all the time. We had a court. In the who was better? Me. You were better. Now he's he's bigger than bigger than me. How tall is he? He's six nine. Six wow. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, so in the post, <laughs> he's probably a little harder to, to handle now yeah, in the post, he's like, huh? he's 250, 240. Oh, goodness. I can't. And how is his career going at Maryland? At Maryland, he's doing really well. Is he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He wants to play pro, hopefully? Yeah, hopefully. If not after this year, then. You yeah. think he'll be able to play? He will, yeah. I oh, think that's he'll awesome. be able to develop. So you'll play. He's front. quiet. When you see him, yeah. he's the opposite of me. He's not you. He's not. He doesn't talk trash. He doesn't. He's not an outspoken person. Oh, yeah. Like, he's not that. Yeah, so you brought up this this talking trash, right? And uh, you've been vocal about it, yeah. and you've made it a, a gender issue, right? Of men versus women, and yeah. like, hey, we're just doing the same thing that the men are doing, yeah. and it's accepted over there. And when I do it, wow. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. I don't know. I've always been like standing on girl power, women yeah. power, being yeah. able to do whatever the men can because I mean, of course growing up with a brother being able to see the things that he worked for right. and I worked just as hard as him and things so I've always been on that I've always stand my ground not care what people think about me I mean right I don't fit the image or narrative of what people want to see as a woman right. and I may not be be a lady or act like how you want me to act but I'm, I'm really passionate about the game I love and I really I love basketball so yeah. I'm gonna do whatever well, it takes to win I, I haven't heard much about people uh, displeased with how you're acting and that all they have on Twitter is crazy really it gets crazy yes but you think these are local people you think it's people from around I mean the I don't know where yeah I don't know where what are they saying on Twitter they're like she's she, her attitude is nasty like she plays dirty <laughs> she's talking trash they need to humble her like uh -huh. I've always like I've always been like I, I haven't you don't seem to play dirty. I mean, you, no, no, I play you just play hard. No, and actually the thing is, right. when I talk trash, those are probably some of my, some of my friends. Yeah. I'm friends with them off the court, so it's cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean. No hard feelings. <laughs> talking trash is, is, part of the, is part of the sports culture yeah. now, right? Yeah. And, and, and you do it, and, uh, man, it goes back however many years. I mean, you yeah. see the old stories, and they, they talk about Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Oh, and, my uh, gosh. Look, imagine it, that era. Like, yeah, you know? they, what they were saying to each yeah. other, right? And, uh going forward today. So um, 
it, you, you had a little trash talk during the game, got teed up, right? <laughs> And uh, yeah. you go over to coach, and coach says what to you? What did you say? <laughs> and she didn't know. She didn't and, actually. She didn't ask me until after the game. Yeah. Like, and and I'm gonna ask you, what did you what did you tell? And I'm gonna show the play in a second. <laughs> I, I, it's gotta be. It's gotta be the play yeah. of year in the college basketball women's yeah. college. It's, it just has to. It's just there's so much intrigue and emotion, and then on, you know yeah. you're holding the shoe and all the whole thing. So tell me what you what you what you so tell. So what happened was. I think my teammate had got beat off the dribble, and I kind of came out of my shoe. All right. And I tried to, tried to tell the ref, like, because she waited a little bit. Uh-huh. And she didn't wait, so I was like, I can't take this play off. The game was so close, I couldn't take the play off. So All right. I decided to block the shot. Put the, the sh I think I switched my hand, put the shoe in the other hand, and, All right. and blocked the shot. So. so you do this. Block the shot. Block the shot. I'm going to blow it up for you so you can watch it again in real time. Here we go. There you go. Let's blast. Yeah. <laughs> so when you, you see that right off now. Off the court, it's just like, it's so different. It is. You're like, who is that? What yeah. is happening? When I right? get on the court, it's just like, it's time. You, it's ready to go. I'm on. Like it's almost a. Ten, yeah. Yeah. A, a light flicks, it flicks on. on. Right. Yeah, and so you, you you said what that got you teed up. And if it's really bad, we can. Well, Give, what, me edit. Give me that. Bleep. Give yeah. me that. Give me that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And my teammate, if you look at the video, Flaje could have got a tech as well. Because me and her were looking at the girl. So right. I was like, maybe Flaje is going to get the tech uh -huh. this time. But I think that's probably what I said. Yeah. And they had warned me before that play. They had? They had warned me like early in the game. Because they were talking trash already in the beginning. So you're just talking trash back and forth. Back and forth. Right. Yeah. And they finally caught me. They finally caught you. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's you know, uh, some of that is, is to be expected. Yeah. And I think the, uh, the LSU community yeah. respects your passion with yeah. which you play now certainly if you're in a close game and oh, you're no, yeah. and you got to moderate that because yeah, yeah that, that'd be if you're, you're down one to carolina in, in yeah. a few weeks and it happens that might be different you yeah. know you might want to moderate that a little bit but yeah, for sure. certainly as a as a supporter and fan of the program and of you don't moderate your passion right i think yeah. that's what people just love watching about you out there and you have you know Coach Mulkey on the sidelines, stomping up and down, <laughs> doing things. They got you on the court. So it really, there's just so much energy in it. And yeah. I want when you have a passionate coach like that, that's just as passionate yeah. as you. It's just like, yeah. wow, where's the balance? Yeah. Do you, do you ever watch her during the game or after the game and see some of the things she does and yes. laugh? Yes. My mom or my friends yeah. would send pictures of coaches' facial expressions after we do something. We turn yeah. the ball over. Even when I come off the bench, yeah. I mean, come off, come out the game and go to the bench, she'll get right, right on me. So. so you know where I sit. I sit on the court side yeah. down by y'all's goal. Yeah. So I have a great angle yeah. for her. And, and what <laughs> amazes me is that she can do all these stomps and movements and gyrations and back and forth up and down on these high, heels. high heels. Yep. <laughs> and she never falls. I know. I don't know. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, she had one the other day, and she just... She ripped her jacket the last game, actually. Oh, I don't. She's... Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to say she's a little cray, but, man, on the sidelines, she has energy. it's just... That's the compassion. Ooh, does she have energy. She does. And it's all, it's all the time. Like, it's yeah. not just in the games. Progress yeah. is... She's one of a kind. That's why, I, you know, I've been a supporter of LSU Athletics for a long time. Yeah. But haven't really been involved with the women's program. Mm -hmm. And she came to town, and was trying to raise awareness and funds for the program. And I met with her, and she asked if I'd support. And I said, Coach, I'll do it on one condition, if you consider working with me in some capacity. Yeah. And she's a little worried about me. Like, you see all the billboards and see all that craziness that goes on around me. I think she was a little skeptical and wasn't sure who I was. So just give me some time to prove who I am to you. Yeah. And if you like what you see, then – consider doing a deal with me and you've seen we've, we've done a deal and she has she's on the billboards yeah, around town that, yeah. and, that's so cool you know speaking of that um we don't have any problem being on a billboard right no uh -huh. they just put me up on a billboard a new one good we yeah. should yeah i'd like to get you and lex and maybe the whole team you know we'll, we'll figure something out um all right so that game you had that great play um, tell me what you're thinking about the rest of the season. I'm excited. I mean, Monday will be a really good test for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we haven't had the strongest 
uh, out of conference schedule. I mean, right. SEC is tough. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the 30. should be a good game. Yeah, so SEC is pretty tough, but Tennessee is good. So we just have to take one game at a time, honestly. I think we're, we're growing and coming together at the right yep. time. All these yep. new pieces. <laughs> yeah. We're doing, we're doing good. 20 and 0, I mean, you can't complain. Mm -hmm. so. so you wear one leg with a stocking or a compression. A legging, yeah. a legging. Why one leg? Why not the well, two? Well, one, I had surgery uh, two years ago okay. on my knee. All Many right. people don't know that. Was that. What type of surgery? I have a rod in my leg, actually. From what? A shin splint. So I have a rod from my knee down to my ankle. Well, a metal rod. I never heard of a rod for a shin splint. So Thank like you. just so the bone didn't completely crack. I got so, you. So yeah, I have that in my leg. Does it go off when you go like through the airport? Yeah. You I have well? one in my foot too. I have a, a screw in my foot. From what? I had surgery in my foot too. That's my freshman year I broke my foot. Hmm. Yeah. During the game or practice? Yeah, game. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I wear that. And then also my favorite players like Asia Wilson and Taya Cooper. Uh -huh. So they, wore, they also wear that. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, I didn't know if it was a fashion statement because you are very fashionable, right? Thank I mean, you. clothes and beauty and all that is important to you from what I can tell, yeah. right? Yeah, it's for both. Mm -hmm. So not only do you, you want to play professionally, right? Play basketball yeah. professionally. But you want to stay in the industry, hopefully, in some capacity. Tell everybody what you what you hope to do one day. Um, I want to be an ESPN broadcaster. Okay. So I've shadowed Holly Rowe, and I actually get to meet with her again today. Um, she's coming down, flying in. That's exciting. So, yeah, being able to be a broadcaster within whatever sport. I mean, I don't want to just specifically be with basketball. Right. I, I'll, I'll do whatever. I'd love to be with basketball, but, yeah, that's kind of something that I've gotten into. So right now I'm, I got my YouTube going. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing like a, a little A10, A10 talk with my teammates, asking right. them a question each week. So just trying to prepare and do things like that right now. Because right. I'm ready for when it's time. So you're building a following out there, mm -hmm. right? Um, so when you say you want to be a broadcaster, you're talking like influencer and broadcaster? or uh, I think I'll always be able to do the influencing stuff. Right. Like, modeling and stuff like I want to model as well so yeah kind of doing both so models are tall tell everybody I think you're six foot three I'm six three yeah yeah how tall is your mom six one and my dad is six nine wow my brother is six my, my one of my brothers is six nine and one of my brothers is six eight six one six ten wow yeah tall family mm -hmm. so I guess when they married they figured there's probably a good chance <laughs> yeah. they were gonna have basketball players yeah Back to Louisiana and the people and the culture. What what stands out to you besides the food? We've talked about anything, anything else? The people are just so nice. Like, mm -hmm. I've met so many people to help me with certain stuff. Like, I had an issue with my car the other day, mm -hmm. and the guy is fixing my bumper. Right. He's like, you give me a ticket for the game, and I can fix, it, <laughs> fix your bumper. I was like, sounds good to me. Sounds good. So, yeah, they've been, everybody's been nice to mm -hmm. me here. And they love me here. Even though my mom can't always come to all the games, um, the fans are really nice and make sure they support me and have me feel right. loved. I feel loved here. Right. Okay. Um, let's just do a little random uh, kind of, I like to call it popcorn. Just let's go. Things pop up, right? Things that come out. So just things about you, things things that the uh, people out there might want to know. All right. Play any other sports growing up besides basketball? Volleyball. I bet you're pretty like, good there. I was really good, yeah, high school. I can see that. Um, yeah. Favorite uh, artist? Little Baby. Yeah. Second favorite artist? Roger. Uh, no. <laughs> Smart answer. Very <laughs> diplomatic. Uh, is there any sort of music you don't like? Um, I'm not going to say I don't like, but I haven't really listened to like country and rock. Some of my yeah. teammates, they try to get Thank me to too. have a variety of music, right. but yep. yeah. Favorite movie? Ever? Oh, mm -hmm. Daddy's Little Girl by Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. I like that movie. You watching anything? Stream anything? You're watching? No, no? <laughs> I don't really. I, when I time I come home, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> All right. So when you're not playing basketball, what do you do? Taking pictures, uh, modeling, sleeping, mm -hmm. doing something of my own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Do you like to read? Yeah. What do you like to read? Um, I read. Well, I'm, 
I mean, the new technology these days, I kind of read on my phone. But um, <laughs> I would just, I just like to educate myself on what's going on within the world, just mm -hmm. seeing things. I haven't specifically read like a specific book. Mm -hmm. Actually, we just read um, The Coffee Bean. I don't know if you mm -hmm. ever read that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So our coach had us write a report on that. Each of us wrote a one-page paper on that. So. What would you think about it? Yeah, we all picked where we were. So I feel like I was um, an egg. Why is that? Um, because when you, of course, when you put the egg in the water, it molds up to it, it com becomes hard. So right. I feel like whatever environment I go into, <laughs> I've been in different environments. I mean, here, back home, I've always molded to it, and I don't think it has ever phased me of wherever mm -hmm. I've been. So. Favorite actor or actress? Hmm. I don't know. I don't, have a, I don't think I have a specific favorite. Okay. Favorite sports team? <laughs> the Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens, yeah. Hope I don't get any backlash from that. <laughs> yeah. So y'all won a championship back when Ray Lewis was there. What was that? About 10, 15 years ago? Somewhere there? Yeah, it was 10 yeah. years ago. Okay. Um, when, tell the everybody a normal day for you when you're having a game day or a practice day, you're in town. How is it different? Um, so I wake up. I usually have class in the morning. And then after class, we go to shoot around. And then after shoot around, pregame meal. Um, after pregame meal, get a little bit of rest. And then by that time, I'll probably eat something else, eat as many meals as I can, and that within yep. that time, and then go to the game. Okay. On a on a game day, do you have any superstitions, things you do? I'm always going to do this the same, or um, I have to listen to music. Well, I have to shower, listen to music, leave the house, listen to music, in the car, music, <laughs> and then when I get to the gym, I take the music off, and then. I always, like, I pray before every game Good. With, okay. by myself first and then with one of my coaches. I've, I've, I've always said a prayer with one of my coaches, so I have to have my old school. So Auntie Shante is like our, our auntie on the team that, that okay. prays with us, so I do that before every right. game. So I always make sure I do that. So are you listening to the same song every time or the same artist? I or try, or yeah. I listen that. a little bit. Yeah, all the time. You say you pray. I assume you're, you're a Christian then? Yeah. Okay. What yeah. church do you go to or did you go to? I haven't found a church yet. I haven't found a church. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I haven't been looking for one, uh, but I haven't well, found one. Coach Mulkey may be one of the best coaches ever. I would yeah. think so. Top three, four. Mm -hmm. There's Pat Summits up there as one yeah. of the greatest ever, but she's certainly in the conversation. For sure. And you've played for a lot of coaches. Um, what makes her in that league? Um, what do you think? I think she's one of the realest coaches. She's not going to tell you what you want to hear. She's going to tell you what's best for you and your career. I mean, she's never sugarcoated anything with me. She's always kept it honest, and I love that about her, and I think that makes her different from many coaches because, I mean, this game is a business, but she makes sure that she keeps it professional, of course, always, but she gets things done, and she gets it done her way right? and doesn't let anybody else <laughs> dictate that. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, how she prepares y'all, practices you, um, game time adjustments, things like that. How do you see her? Because I've been to one of y'all's practices. Yeah, I've practices can be four hours. <laughs> oh, man. And it's, it is, it's intense. It is intense. Yeah. It's orchestrated. It's, con it's scheduled, yeah. very systematic, very purposeful. And I, I just didn't realize that she was that detailed yeah. and that organized in how she runs a practice. So give me your comparisons of her and practice and game preparation, game changes versus other coach. What does she do different? I don't know. Like, everybody is, like, always within tech. Like, she gets on everyone. Like, from managers to coaches, she's everything is always down to detail, like you said. So being able to be on a strict schedule and not knowing, oh, what, what kind of day are we going to have? I know every day I'm right. going to get better. Like, right. every single every day, day I know I'm going to get better. Yeah. And, I, and she's not going to let me not get better. She's not going to let me just have, oh, today, Angel, you can just take off. Like, there's yeah. no taking off. Is she hands-on, like, with you Very, and your development? Like, she's during practice, she's stopping you and saying, you and need to do this. Do you know how many this. times she's, Angel, you need to jump. Like, right. if you don't jump, they're going to block your shot. Right. And last night I got my shot blocked. And she was like, what's going to happen if that girl tells you to give me that? And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, she she gets yeah, on. Yeah, so yeah. she's on you. So she's, she's on, on all she's of you. She's on me. Is she a type coach that during a game she's gonna make a lot of adjustments for y'all or let? No, you I think she lets us. She lets us play. Mm -hmm. Let's Alexis. She lets Alexis kind of. She's she's the point guard. She lets mm -hmm. her like be the second coach on the court, mm -hmm. and then they'll ask me since I'm a captain. So right. 
Yeah, she lets us play, though. When the time out, though, we better be focused and know what's yeah. going on. Okay. Well, good. All right, so here's your chance, and we're going to give you a, a, a one-minute, two-minute uh, opportunity to play uh, host or interviewer or reporter, and so let's, let's see what you'll do. Okay. Hi, Gordon McCurney. It's Angel <laughs> Reese here, and we're here with Gordon. Um, Gordon, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank good. you. Good. Okay, so I'm going to ask a few questions. I'm not from here, but what's the, the best food? What's the best food place here? Ooh, it, it depends on, on what you're looking for, right? If you're looking for fried seafood, it's here, right here okay. at Phil's. I mean, it's it's great. It's always been good. They do a great job with it. If you're looking for Italian, I love Gino's, right? Steaks, uh, you'd have to go with Stabs or Chris's. Um, just two different types of places, yeah. but both great overall and how they handle things. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Okay. So if someone wasn't to know you, what's something that people wouldn't know about you on a typical day? Like... We know what you do. We know everything uh -huh. that you do and what you bring to this town. Right. But like, what is something that people don't know about? Yeah, you? probably uh, I've got some OCD issues, right? I really? like things very orderly and organized. And, uh, you know, my, my closets are color-coordinated. And there's things, just things that I like in place. Okay, there's only one answer to, th to this question. Okay. Your favorite team at LSU? Favorite team? Women's basketball. Yes. Love that. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be the team that wins the, a national championship yeah. next to of all the sports. And, like, baseball is going to be really good this year. Y'all you, you, you need to go out and watch that team yeah, as yeah. well. They're going to be great. What's your favorite thing about Baton Rouge and the culture here? Yeah, it, it would be the, uh, the people of the, of the city. Um, and we're not a, without problems, of course. There's certain things that can be improved. But by and large, um, it is a – a small, big city, yeah. right? If that makes sense, you know, we're still a city, but still has some, some, some hometown feeling to it because of the people here. Yeah. So everyone knows what you do for the city. Um, right. Get Gordon, uh -huh. the, the best law firm yeah. everybody knows. But what makes you so you guys so different from other law firms in the city or uh, any state? Actually? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know how different we are. I think there's some other good firms out there, but um, what I try to keep at the forefront every day is um is treating people well right the the bible has the golden rule yeah like matthew do unto others you do unto yourself that's what i try to do for all tell my attorneys all my staff just treat people well yeah. treat your clients do the right thing return the calls show them you care love them those things and i think that that's kind of been um imbued, so to speak, into the whole spirit of our firm and all of our people. And so I think we do that well, and that might set us apart. Yeah, so, okay, when the, within the college game, usually you don't see businesses doing NIL deals with women. Right. What made you want to first start out with Alexis and then Michaela and just right. doing women yeah. at, at that? Um, I have three daughters, really? right, and, yeah. and my wife. And um, women are a big part of my life, right? Yeah. They're just, I'm surrounded by them. Yeah. And, um my girls grew up playing different sports and saw um, what they like to do and just making sure that we give a, a voice and opportunity and recognition to women on the same level we do men. Yeah. So my first NIL deal was for a woman. I wanted yeah. to make a statement with that. Love I'm it. not going to go sign the quarterback at LSU. Yeah. I'm going to go sign the point guard on the women's basketball team, yeah. right? Because yeah. I want people to recognize what they're doing and they have the right and should be recognized. Okay, last question. Yeah. Do you, do you think you can, you want to play with me and Alexis one-on-one? <laughs> <laughs> Would you play me and Alexis one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, almost, uh, almost. Um, we'd have to define the parameters of, of what that would be like. Um, man, how much movement are you How gonna, about your best five against our best five? Your, oh. Your best five players at the firm. Oh. Our best five. Uh, we, our first five on the team. Man, we would get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are... Y'all are uh, maybe five years ago the women's basketball team we could play, but not this team out there today. Man, y'all play fast. Yeah, we do. That was the thing, you know, watching early in the season versus now, how much faster, faster. things, how much faster y'all are. Things are moving. Do you sense that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. what happened there to create I think that? Like we're also learning each other. We're learning the plays more. This is a new system for a lot right. of us, so being able to play under coach and being able to. Just work through things early on. Right. And now where we are, I think we're in, we're a good right. a good a good place right now. Right. Well, I want to compliment you on your interview skills and your Thank questions. You, guys. you had a 
you had a couple of great just off the cuff and you seem like to be a natural at so yeah. I'll be interested to watch your career develop off the court because I know you. you're going to be what you're going to do on the court. Thank you. So you have young women out there give a uh, give a beauty tip or two because you know when I look at your your TikTok and watch you on you're you're definitely you love being a lady. You yeah. love you love dressing up and you yeah. love looking good. So couple of share a couple of tips out there. Okay, so for girls, um, I would just say be you. Have yeah. fun. Don't let anyone ever tell you what you can and cannot wear. I think that's kind of how I am. I always embrace myself and who I am and stand right. on who I am. So that's kind of that's kind of always how I've been. I got that from my grandma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's good. Um, favorite type of outfit or look or where do you what do you Ooh. go to anything with sneakers like i hate wearing heels like yeah. i don't know I just is it because you're tall and you don't no, want to be even taller like, I don't or? Wear heels. like I, it hurts my feet and i don't want to i want to be comfortable mm -hmm. i'm like more comfortable i don't want to be dressed up all day in a dress like i don't mind wearing a dress but i also want to i like yeah. the sweats boots and right pants. Yeah. Yeah. i don't know what sneakers you wear but I some years yeah. some years back i was I was introduced to a Golden Gooses, right? My my daughter's. Oh my God, they're so nice. Yeah, like I don't know they're how many. They're expensive too. Oh, they're expensive. Yeah, so I bought them. I even bought my mother-in-law. She's 81. Really? A pair of Golden Gooses, and she loves them, and she wears them now with everything. They're she, so nice. Yeah. She won't take them off. Um, so, what are some of the sneakers you like to wear? So my favorite sneakers uh -huh. are Dunks. So coming to LSU, being Nike now was just like I was so happy because I hadn't been able to wear. Like Nikes in a long time. What were what were y'all at Maryland? Under Armour. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're Nike. So I love any sneaker, honestly, like pop, pop anything with a pop mm. colors. Yeah. So we, we're 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 trying to do a little sneaker yes. event, right? Did you have a hand in any design I did. or? Good. Is it gonna be a little pop, a little something? That'd be fine. Good. I That'd hope be so. Fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see, and hopefully everybody enjoys it. Yeah, they should. Yeah, yeah. One of my lawyers is having some sneakers designed for me, some Jordans, right? Yeah. I got to get you some Jordans, you know. Yeah. I'm in the midst of all these NIL players and athletes, and mm -hmm. I, I mainly wear cowboy boots. Just kind of way I got to get you some J's because yeah. you're a, uh, you're in that. You you just got to blend a little better. Yeah. I'm like, all right. So he's designing and some with someone, That's a pair cool. of Jordans. Are you into like sneakers and stuff? Yeah. Have you ever just 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 down? Uh, no, I mean, so, you know, this is kind of me every day, yeah. jeans and cowboy boots and a, and a shirt like and this, shirt. but dressing down, this would kind of be dressed out for me. Really? Uh-huh. Would you ever just wear like a regular polo shirt? Like oh, yeah, when I go out or something. Yeah. You know, but I think, you know, people want an attorney to have a little oh, bit yeah. of a, a, a look to them, yeah. right? So I, that's why I wear the coat and yeah. have a, a little bit of a dress. Yeah. Yeah. So what type of car you drive? A Nissan Altima. Mm -hmm. Now, one day when you hit it big, right, and you're signing all these contracts, and you're, you're on the sidelines, you're in the booth, and you made your money yeah. now, and you're going out and buying what? A G-Wagon. A G-Wagon. It's going to have pink <laughs> interior mm -hmm. with a glitter steering wheel, but outside it's going to be matte black. Yeah. And I'm going to have stars in the ceiling. Love that. So, I just had a G, I've had a G-Wagon for about six or seven years. I just... Wow. Traded out of it into a different car. You don't like it? No, I loved it. Yeah. But uh, I just went to a, a different type of car. Yeah. Um, great car. So I'll, I'll be excited to see you <laughs> ripping around and the one and only uh, of those. So where is uh, a place you haven't been in the world that you want to go? I want to go to like Bora Bora. I love traveling. Like yeah. I love. Where's your favorite place you've ever visited? Cancun. I love Cancun. You liked it? Yeah. Yeah. It was me. Did snorkeling and stuff down there? Yeah. In that neat? Jet ski. Flew up uh -huh. a jet ski. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you went to Hawaii. How was that? It was fun. I want you to stay longer. You have never been? Yeah. We're planning on Australia next year. Really? Possibly. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. I, I hope I'm not jinxing things, but I, I made some reservations and plans for the final four already oh wow <laughs> really okay that's it <laughs> no that, pressure no no pressure. no pressure at all i yeah, just no. i said well yeah. it just seems like this could happen yeah and uh, you know there's no guarantees um you know but will you uh, will you be disappointed if you don't make it all the way to the final four of this team um i don't think i'll be disappointed i mean i've been to the c16 i want if we get past the c16 i'll be happy and i think we have that right. ability to do that for sure 
Right. I mean, this is a team that's nine new pieces, so you yeah. don't really expect to even be 20 and over right now. Like, right. Um, what do you need to improve upon in your game? Um, I think I need to improve on my shooting. Like, I'm not – I mean, I can shoot, but I don't – right now I don't shoot because right. I don't really have to. Right. So I do what mm -hmm. my abilities right now and yeah. what works for me. You handle the ball well, bringing yeah. up court. Did yeah. you did you grow late? No, or? yeah, I was a point guard when I was young. You so okay. Now, I, you I look, grew like in middle and high school. Right. So you look, you can see that. You yeah. know, um, you know, people who grow up playing point guard and all of a sudden they go through this growth spurt, then they have best of both worlds, right? Yeah. They know how to handle the ball. Yeah. And get it up the court court quickly, which you do, and then you have all this now height, and you can use it near the basket. So. Yeah. Um, People who play basketball can see that. I mean, I could. I said, man, she had, she had to play point guard. Yeah, I was point Just, guard. You're too natural with the ball coming up the court. Yeah. Yeah. And I can tell there are times it looks like you want to go coast to coast with it. Yeah. But sometimes it's like depending on yeah. the game. Tell me a little bit about your family, right? So you, I know you are you were raised by your mom. Yeah. Right? Um, tell me a little bit about her. She's she's great. She's amazing. She, she raised me and my brother by herself. So it's always been just us three. And like since we were young, we we I mean my mom my mom would go up to my brother's games and my grandparents would take me to my games. So right now she's she can come to games whenever she can, but she's right. she's calling playing back and forth. Some catfish, and he's thank taking you. your oysters off the grill. Okay, thank All you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. So she raised you in yeah. Baltimore. Yeah. Um, tell me about your high school experience. St. Francis, if anyone knows, like. I used to go to school across the street from a jail. So I would wake up every morning at 6 a.m. to take the train. Many people, I was telling my teammates yesterday, I was saying, you took the train to school every day? I used to take the train to school at 6 a.m. because my mom couldn't take me to school. So 6 a.m. I would get on the train and then about seven, eight stops. I get I get off and I have to run to the bus. So I take a, and then I, I take a bus downtown and it'll take me to my school. And then I walk from the bus stop to my school hmm. in Baltimore City. So why why did you have to go so far to go to the school? Is that the school you wanted to go to? Yeah, it was to? a private school. Yeah, I wanted to go to private Catholic school. I wanted to go to. Okay, so it's good basketball school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a good. How long did that take you every morning to get to school? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yeah, I had to be at school by eight, so I was always leaving by like six. Wow. Six fifteen. Hour and a half to get to school, and so did, there was a jail by the school. Yeah, it's a jail right across the street. Like this is the school. This is the jail. And so it was. A, I'm assuming it was a pretty good private school. Yeah, it was. So why we is it? We only had, uh, well, we only had 250 people in the school. It was. I had my graduation class was 50. It was predominant, mostly boys. Um, our football team was nationally ranked, like nationally good. Okay. So it was only. It was about 200 boys and like and 50, this, 50 girls. This private school that's good in sports. Academically. In academics, you were on a roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was Baltimore uh, what you would consider a safe city, or was it dangerous? It could be dangerous for could sure. Be. I mean, it's dangerous every morning having to get on the train where there's homeless people, there are different kinds of people on the train wow. every morning. I mean, I had to have pepper spray and stuff because I was a girl. Like, I needed some type of protection. Really? Thank you so much. There you go. Oh, wow. Thank you. So what does your mom do? She's actually, she works at Johns Hopkins, which is yeah. an applied physics laboratory. She's a scientist and she makes sure the satellite doesn't hit the earth. Holy cow. She has, she has a, She's smart. She is. I you really smart. Yeah. She has an important job. Yeah. And you were an honor student. Yeah. Good for you. And you're studying what? Tell everybody. Communications. I'm a communications major. And I'm assuming you, you plan to graduate? Oh, for sure. Yeah. My mom's not. I can't leave college until I graduate. Oh, really? She'd, <laughs> um, be, up, she'd be upset with you? Yeah. You can't do that. Now, normally, Mama, a lot of people may not know you were the second ranked player coming out of school your mm -hmm. your senior year. Yeah. Who was first? Paige Becker. Who's better? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Paige is a great player. I mean I'm gonna choose myself of course, but Paige is she's definitely a great player. She's mm -hmm. she's a good friend. I'm good friends with her. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you play much AAU travel squad stuff in yeah, high school? I play AAU. We won the national Did y'all play we together? Won. No no no. She's from Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if y'all had a national team. No. Um, we, I've never played against her, actually. You're 20 now? 20. So what would you tell a 10-year-old you back when you were 10? What would the 20-year-old angel tell 
that 10 year old? Don't take life for granted. Mm -hmm. I mean, I miss those days where I was just having fun, traveling with my team, playing AU, right. making so many memories, being even back home with my family. Now I'm in college and I gotta pay a couple bills right now, <laughs> but I mean, it's fun. I feel like I'm growing up though. But I think just just don't take life for granted. Just have fun. Like, yeah. just have fun. So we're we're trying to do a little do a little raise money in the month of February. Yeah. And uh, you've graciously agreed to to participate. You, yeah. um, Lex, and um, for every point that the two of you score in the month of February. My law firm, I think, is going to give $20. Wow. Um, yeah. So I think we calculate it, and, you know, you're averaging 25, and she's averaging 10, 35, and it could be a five, $6,000 yeah, gift be good. that we'll, we'll give to a charity. So what do you think about that? Yeah, that would be great. I mean, any charity, I'm, I'm definitely up to doing that, and I would love to go there to see and give them, give it to them. Wow. That would be cool. Oh, um, so I hope you have a great month, you know, and I want you to go and set the <laughs> in, the NCAA scoring record for points in a month, you know, in one month, all of a sudden you you average 48. You know, yeah, do you, need, you know. do you need that? For, for the charity, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah well, that's good. So hopefully I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope to write a big check for that yeah. that month. Do you consider your hair part of your, kind of your? That's my thing. Like, yeah. I have to have an hour before the game. To do my hair and make sure my lashes are good, uh -huh. my nails, so you got to make you, sure you everything look is good. on print on. When you yeah. walk out there, you're rolling. You're yeah, because cameras are coming. Yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you do look great. So thank you. Whatever you're doing, you're you're doing well, and um, just wish you and the whole team the best of luck and continue success. Thrilled to watch y'all play and support you, and just looking for. I hate saying natty, but you know it's it's hoping a deep, deep run, and uh, so thankful for you and being part of the, our team and you representing our brand and just getting for this little time together with Grubbin' with G and coming to Phil. So you've been great, and thank you so much. Thank you. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. <laughs>